uh, they're running low on some weapons and ammunition to transfer to Ukraine. Does the war end sooner if and when the United States cannot support Ukraine with weapons? What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, <laughs> I believe in the courage of the individual fighting man. I've seen it and I respect it and I, I, I think it's admirable. But anybody who's been to war knows that um, individual courage is meaningless when it's the, the naked body up against the 20 ton tank. Okay, the tank's going to win that exchange every single time. Can you back it up with artillery? Modern war isn't just about individual courage anymore. In fact, it's less about individual courage. It's more about, you know, overall organizational competency. Uh, it's about the, the mechanism of conflict. You need good troops, but what you really need is firepower. You need fire support. And the Russians have that in overwhelming numbers. They, at one point in time, they were firing 60,000 rounds a day. Now, I was in Desert Storm. I'm sure you guys all have your own uh, war stories. In Desert Storm, we fired 60,000 rounds for the entire conflict. And we were pumping rounds out. I mean, 5th Battalion, 11th Marines were pulling lanyards all day long. Boom. 60,000 rounds for the entire conflict. The Russians are firing six, were firing 60,000 rounds a day. I think their numbers right now drop to only 40,000 rounds a day. Um, but the bottom line is they got a lot of artillery and they fire it all the time. The Ukrainians, on the other hand, you know, they compared to us, Ukrainians have an awful lot of artillery. I mean, think about it. Uh, the, the heavy uh, U.S. armored brigade that's operating in Europe right now has 18, count them all, 18, one eight, I'm being serious, one eight, self-propelled howitzers, 18, 18. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but 18, and they're going to go up against uh, the, the Russian counterparts. They're going to bring 300, 18 versus 300. I'm just a simple Marine, but it, it, it doesn't work. But let's say the 18 are just the best in the world. These guys are the best artillerymen in the world. They move, they shoot, they communicate. Every time they fire the lanyard, magically, 100 Russian tanks disappear. Boom. Oh, God, we're really good. But that only works if you have the ammunition. And right now, we've given all the ammunition away to the Ukrainians. If we go to war today, we will run out of ammunition in two weeks. Mm. In two weeks. And I don't care how good you are. Let's say the magic U.S. Army artillery guys are the best in the world, and they didn't suffer any casualties during those two weeks as they're magically killing every time they pull a lanyard, which isn't going to happen, by the way. They're going to all die on day one. But let's say they live. When you run out of ammo, you die. That's just the reality of war. If you got no ammo, you're going to die. The Russians will never run out of ammunition. We know right now, and Biden has acknowledged that if we go to war, we will run out in two weeks if we can survive two weeks. There's no guarantee that's going to happen. So NATO is in a tough predicament because not only can we not support Ukraine anymore, but our military leaders have failed. I mean, what kind of idiot gives up your own requirement to defend your national security interests? I mean, before I give anything away, this is like me on Thanksgiving cooking a big meal and then um, walking around the street and giving all my food away and coming home to an empty table, my family's going, dude, we're hungry. Well, I'm sorry, I gave all the food away. Can't feed you. You know, so my job is to feed my family. And I just failed. If you're in the military, your job is to protect your country in accordance with the national security strategy, which means if we deploy forces to Europe, we have to be able to sustain them uh, to whatever combat operations we anticipate they might be involved in. And yet, if we expend all the logistics support that's meant to sustain them. We give that away and we don't replenish it. Now the guys cannot carry out the mission they've been given. Their family is going to go hungry and they're going to die. So that's where we are right now. And that Joe Biden only has himself to play, literally. And General Miley should be fired for incompetence. Lloyd Austin should likewise be fired for incompetence. Their job is to defend the United States of America. And they have failed. Because if we're in a situation where we can't give ammunition to the Ukrainians because we don't have enough, because we've given it all away, that means we can't defend our country. And that's a failure on the part of those who have been given that job. 